Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is day number four of 12 Days of Whiskey. That is right. We are a third of the way done. So hopefully we get every single one right from here on out. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go check them out first. I'd really appreciate it. Give a like, a comment, and please subscribe below. I would really, really appreciate the support. It's been fun doing these. I want to keep doing these. I want to do a lot more videos coming in the near future. I really enjoy doing these videos, guys. And I really, really would appreciate your guys' support. I want to keep doing videos at least every day or maybe at least a couple times a week going into the new year. I really want to start building this channel and I really enjoy what I'm doing. So without further ado, let's get into day number four. Let's pour it, let's smell it, let's taste it, and let's see if I can guess what the heck it is this time. I'm one for three, about to be two for four. That is my prediction. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Hopefully I don't let you down. Let's do this. All right, let's start off with the smell. Oh, it's very... This is gonna be tough. Oh no. Oh no, I really wanted to go two for four on this video. I wanted to at least get 50% right, and I have a feeling that I am going to be wrong, and that's really upsetting. Man, it's got a very interesting smell to it. It's almost got like a rose water smell to it. Like, like very like florally. What is this? It smells really, really good. I'm getting some really nice butterscotch, some really nice vanilla. Man. It's not super proofy, which I usually tend to like, but it's got some really nice notes on the nose. This is a direct contrast to what I had yesterday. Yesterday, incredibly smoky. Today, incredibly sweet and earthy and floral. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. All right, let's give it a taste because I am getting nowhere on the nose. I know it's got floral notes on the nose, but I have no idea what direction this is gonna go on the taste. Oh man, oh man, dang. That is not at all the proof that I thought it was gonna be. That is very proofy on the mouth. Whoa. Little drying, little drying on the tongue. Don't think it's a rye. I don't think it's even a high rye. So I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm counting out four roses, and I think I'm counting out how high west. I don't think it's Stag Junior. Stag Junior is one of my favorites, and I would hope, I would hope that I know Stag Junior by taste. Oh, is this old Ezra? Oh boy. You don't really get that that rose water that you get from the nose on the palate. You get a lot of caramel, a lot of caramel, a little bit of barrel char in the back of the mouth. It's definitely a little proofy. I don't think it's crazy, crazy high proof, but I do think it could be. Oh, it's got like a, a weird little bitter finish, like a bitter, bitter like barrel finish, maybe. I don't think, uh, I don't think this is Old Forester. I'm kind of between Old Ezra 7 right now and possibly my Bookers. I'm going, I'm leaning more towards my higher proof stuff. So I'm kind of, I know I shouldn't be counting out things so early, but I'm kind of counting out my lower stuff like Eagle Rare, Blanton's, whatever else I have over there. I have no idea. I'm kind of, a, I kind of think it's old Ezra. I really do. I really do think this is old Ezra. And I really hope that if I guess it, I guess it right. Oh, it's got, it has to be old Ezra. It's got that really rich, that really rich caramel that I really do get from old Ezra. It's, 
and it does give a little bit of drying, but it almost has like a coffee. I get a little bit of that coffee bitterness. But it could also be Booker's. Uh, I've only had like three different kinds of Booker's. I haven't, I haven't trained my palate enough to recognize the Booker's profile. But I think this has to be, has to be with Old Ezra. This is so strange. I'm very confused. I'm really worried that this is going to be Stag Jr. I know. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, this could be 1792. I do. I'm starting to get some of that banana through there. Ah, man, bad day to wear a sweater when you're tasting foolproof whiskeys. I'm literally starting to sweat under this. Damn, dude. This isn't stag. I, I think I would know stag, and I'm really, really hoping this isn't stag. I was on Old Ezra for a while there until I started to get that banana fruit through there. And now I'm, I'm leaning towards 1792, and I hope, I hope I get this right. But I'm getting some raspberries. Oh my god. This could be stag. This isn't stag. I I think I would know stag. I'm so confused. I was sure. I was sure this wasn't stag junior. And now I'm not sure it's not stag junior. So I'm really stuck. I know the proof's high proof. I'm between old Ezra seven year, stag junior. In 1792. I'm 90% positive it's one of those three. And I have a one in three chance of getting one of those right. So I have a 30% chance of getting this right. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull enough out of this to tell which one it is. I kind of think it's Stag. I really didn't think it was Stag Jr., but now I kind of think this is Stag. I think the Stag I have open over there is 50 six percent alcohol so what is that 112 proof does it taste 112 proof yep it's it's an afterburner it's a very afterburny proof it's it sits there doesn't burn and then later it like it takes it comes back from the back of the tongue and travels right to the tip of your tongue and you get that little little spiky note but it's good man it's full of flavor i really like this I think I'm gonna have to guess stag. And I really hope I really hope it's not old Ezra. I'm kind of leaning away. Based off of the taste, I'm leaning away from 1792. So I'm kind of between stag and old Ezra. But I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking it's stag junior. Alright. I think the guessing time is over. I'm out of drink. It's time to unveil what the answer is. And I'm nervous. I don't want to let you guys down. I don't want to let myself down. I best get this right. I think this is my 56% alcohol, 112 proof, Stag Jr. I got to go with it. I got I, I to gotta go with it. I got to go with Stag Jr. If this isn't Stag Jr., it's Old Ezra, and I'm going to be very upset. And if it's neither of those, I'm going to be very confused. All right. I don't want to open this. I really don't want to open this. I don't want to be wrong. I hate being wrong. The first two times I was wrong, I was very upset. Last time I got it right, perfect. This time, let's see. I don't know. Damn. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew I tasted banana. I knew I smelled banana on the nose. I knew it was coming through. I should have stuck with my gut. I knew it was freaking 1792 foolproof and I had to pull away from it. I don't know why I did that to myself. I smelled banana, banana, banana. That's literally one of 1792's staple attributes is that banana smell to it. And I, for some reason I pulled away from that. And I still get it. I still get a lot of freaking banana. Why the frick would I go stand stacked? I said from the beginning, I knew this isn't Stag Jr. Stag Jr. is one of my favorites. It's not Stag Jr. Why did I go away from what I thought? 
I need to trust my gut more. I need to stop getting confused. I need to go with my gut. First instincts. Bam. I knew. I knew this was 1792 foolproof. And I still didn't go with it. Let you guys down. I'm one for four now. I ain't happy about it. I said it was around 56%. What? What is it? I was way wrong on the, the alcohol content. 1792 foolproof that I have is 62.5% alcohol. That is, what is that? I think it's 125 proof. Holy shit. Well guys, it's not looking good. One for four. At this rate, on average, I'm gonna get three of the 12 right and I am really not happy about that. I should have stuck with my gut. I knew it was 1792. I sh this should have been an easy one for me, and it wasn't. Well, guys, that's it for today. No luck today. One for four still. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please do go back, watch those videos, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. This is really fun for me to do. We have, what, eight days left to go in the 12 days of whiskey. Hopefully, I start getting some more right. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for day five of 12 days of whiskey. There's only so many it can be. I'm looking up from here. We're gonna get this right. Day five is our day, and it's gonna be a good day. So I will see you tomorrow. I will make a plan to see you guys tomorrow for day five of 12 days of whiskey. Don't miss it. Subscribe down below, notifications on so you won't miss it. And I'll see you back here soon. All right, have a good one, guys. Peace.